So the very first question that would be coming to your mind would be, what will you learn from the course? One thing I can promise is you will have lots of excitement, loads of learning, and you would be much more confident at the end of the course. Because we would be focusing from an architecture standpoint. So you're not looking to create simple databases in RDS or say create an RDS uh, uh, database or a database in EC2 machine. But we will focus from the architectural perspective. As you can see here from the figure, we would be creating our own VPC. We would be creating public subnet, sub private subnet. So in the public subnet, I would be having an 18C XE database. In my private subnet, I will be creating an Amazon RDS database. And what all things it takes to actually create, uh, what all configurations you need to be aware of uh, to uh, create this kind of configuration. Uh, I will be introducing a lot of new um, security concepts like security groups, uh, network ACLs, and how you can achieve this. And you will have a lot of excitement and interesting things around uh, PHP connectivity with Oracle because uh, you can't directly talk to your uh, private subnet or you can't directly talk to your database which is in uh, sitting in the private subnet. So the only connectivity would be would be from the uh, web server in this case it will be apache web server and we shall use php so guys i want to say that by the end of the course you would be much more confident to work on this kind of architecture like design a similar kind of architecture and work on it now you would ask but what is happening behind the scenes let's take a look so okay so to begin with we'll start with the very basics um, because i'm expecting if you are a beginner or let's say even if you have some knowledge around uh, cloud computing it would be good to have some kind of a refresher around that if you are already uh, knowledgeable about uh, the first two sections you can always skip the first two sections and just simply jump on to the third section so the first section is more of around for beginners with what is cloud computing uh, acronyms discussion around is pas sas and we just discuss about the top cloud vendors in the market. Then I give you an introduction to the Amazon cloud. What is AWS? What's the history behind AWS? I'll give you a, a, a demo on the sign up process for AWS cloud. And we shall look at the uh, Amazon cloud offerings, how you can actually uh, go through the uh, AWS website. Then I shall give you a walkthrough of this uh, management console, what are the th things you should be aware of when you are actually working on AWS Cloud? As I told you that we would be focusing more from architecture standpoint, we are not going to just create databases, but we have to architecturally understand the whole uh, scenario. We need to understand the AWS architecture in a better way. And to, to do that, we will be focusing around what are regions, what are AZs, availability zones, security groups basics of security groups vpc your virtual private cloud in uh, aws ebs which is your elastic uh, block store volumes then you have the s3 storage and you all have loads of demos done wherein i would be configuring aws cli on mac on windows then i'll show you how you can create your own vpc we are not going to use the aws vpc we will create our own vpc then I will sh tell you how you can create security groups. Security groups would be created for the database server. Then I'll create a security group for the web server. Then we talk about how you can create an S3 bucket. And we will make use of all these things when we actually create the databases. And I'll show you how you can create an EBS uh, volume. Then we move on to EC2. What exactly is EC2? What is Elastic Compute Co Cloud all about? What are the instance types? What are AMIs? Amazon machine images, what exactly are these? Then we uh, work on different demos, wherein I'll build an EC2 instance from you. We'll do from the very scratch. The custom VPC that we uh, used or created, we will actually use that VPC to build our EC2 instance. Then I'll show you how you can install 18C XE on EC2 instance. We'll build, go through the entire process of how you can install Oracle 18C XE. Then I'll show you how you can configure database backups to S3 bucket. So ARM and backups would be actually written to the S3 bucket. Then uh, I show you it's not only the backups I'm telling you, but the restoration part as well. How you can uh, restore or recover from your backups that are actually stored on the S3 uh, backups. 
Then we mo move on to the more exciting uh, scenarios. We'll, we'll discuss, discuss about Amazon RDS. What exactly is Amazon RDS? What is RDS for Oracle? Because RDS is given for, or RDS is um, available for uh, several other databases like MS SQL Server, you have, uh, you have MariaDB and uh, Postgres. But I will be telling about what is Amazon RDS for Oracle. How the things change for a DBA if you have to do backups recovery, monitoring in RDS. And I'll also sh uh, show you the Oracle versus RDS commands that, okay, if you're an Oracle DBA or an Oracle developer, there are certain things you would be doing uh, in an on-premise environment. But how things change when you do it in an RDS environment. We have very exciting demos coming around. One would be deploying Oracle database in RDS. Then I'll show you how you can patch the existing version of uh, Oracle. Then we install the Apache web server, uh, which is very exciting. You'll install an, your own Apache web server, which would be an EC2 instance. And I'll show you the connectivity of PHP with Oracle. I will be using PHP 7 version with Oracle uh, connectivity. And yes, the most talked about topic, a lot of people are, keep asking about it. What is REST API? I shall give you an uh, introduction to REST API, what exactly is REST API, and how you can actually make use of uh, these REST APIs, how you can call REST APIs. I'll show you in a demo uh, through uh, a specific utility, which is Postman. Uh, I'll show you how you can actually call all these uh, REST APIs. So guys, be prepared. It's a learning which is from ground up to Oracle database in the AWS cloud. So I'll, I shall look forward to see you in the course. Happy learning.